please use this knowledge for good. Don't go blowing up your whole account. Bruh. Bam, and there you have it. You got live streaming futures options quotes. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Gift Bags. And today we're gonna to be getting futures options, live streaming quotes from the TD Ameritrade API in three easy steps. First, we're gonna create a client and authenticate to connect to the TD API. Then we're gonna choose our contract name and we're gonna go ahead and connect to the live stream. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna bust open your trusty Google and in Google search TD API docs. And then right here, pop into your read the docs and you can basically go down to streaming client here. And if you haven't connected to the TD API before, I'll put a video here. It teaches you the basics of getting set up with your credentials so that you can connect to the API. Then next, what you wanna do is go ahead and log into your TD Ameritrade account because you're gonna need it when we pull the contract name. So I'm gonna put all this code here on my GitHub. The link's gonna be in the description. You can basically copy and paste it and you'll be good to go. We're just gonna go ahead and start our script here. First thing we wanna do is import our modules. We've got modules here that come from the TD API library. And then what I'm doing here is I'm importing my credentials from another file so that y'all can't get your dirty hands on them. Then we're gonna import this in Nest Asyncio. So this is helpful if you're in Jupyter Spider or any IPython environment to use these asynchronous functions. Now, what we have here is our authentication block and then this can be found directly in the documentation so if you flip back over to the streaming documentation here basically you can just copy and paste this whole block here this is where you're going to put your api key your uri and then the path of your token as well as your account number so in the code here i read that all in from a file here this is where it all lives. And then what I do next here is I create a queue class. And the queue class is just gonna allow me to store some data that comes in from the stream so we can analyze it later. Now what the queue does is basically like a fixed length data structure where new data comes in the front of the queue. And then once the queue reaches a certain length, then the old data gets deleted off of the back of the queue. So you can specify how long you want the queue uh, right here in this code. And then what I have next here is I instantiate this queue so that we have an empty data data structure where we're going to store messages from our stream. Now this block of code here, this read stream function comes directly from the documentation. So if you flip back over to the documentation, you'll see all of this code here is directly in our script. Now we're just going to change out some of the middle here and I'll show you how to do that. But first thing we do here is we just log in and then we can set our quality of service. Now your quality of service is basically how delayed is the data that you're receiving and express is the shortest amount of delay. And then this next function here that's within our read stream function is our print message function. But not only does it print the message that we receive from the stream, it also adds the message to the front of the queue. This function here is also referred to as a handler. So when we have our add level one features options handler, we are adding this print message function as our handler. Now this line of code here is our add level one futures options handler it's different than what you see in the documentation so if you come over to the documentation here and then you click under level one quotes in the streaming client then you can scroll down here scroll down all the way down to you find futures options quotes so you can see here's the heading here with all the functions inside then you could just go ahead and copy the add level one futures handler and then you paste it right here and then you put your handler that you want to add here so the name print message goes here Next, you go back to the docs and you copy the level one features options subs, and then you can paste this right here. And then this is where we feed it the contract name that we want to stream quotes for. So we have to figure out what is the correct name in order to subscribe to the stream. So go ahead, open up your TD Ameritrade. So once you're in Thinkorswim, then you can go over to your trade tab. You can type the name of the future symbol in here, and then that'll pull up an options chain. So long story short, once you have this options chain up, you can just right click the strike price, and that's going to allow you to copy this name here and then you can come over to your script here you can paste the name but then you want to take off this back part and then this is going to be the contract that you're going to be pulling data from so let's just copy that here and then you want to insert that also into your close stream function and then this level one futures options unsub it's an unsubscribe function so it's going to help you turn off the stream of data and then you can find that here in your TD API read the docs here under level one futures options unsubs so you just come over here you paste that in now that you've changed out your add level one futures options handler add level one futures options subs and unsubs change those three lines you're ready to start your stream so you can go ahead and click run 
Bam, just like that fam, there you have it. You got live futures options quotes streaming directly into your computer. You have to choose the contract name, but other than that, it's a very straightforward process. Now to turn it off, what we're gonna wanna do here is just control C, but then you can see there's messages still coming through. So then we'll go ahead, we'll close that stream off with our close stream function that we made with our unsubscribe function and then the contract name. It's gonna turn everything off. And then what we wanna do is just go ahead and take a look into our queue to see you know, what our price look like so if we go to our test queue object here dot Q that's gonna bring up a list of dictionaries which contain well it gets a little deep so long story short I got all the code you need here it's right here so it's best to kind of just go through the data structure to see where your quote is and you know, you can write an algorithm to kind of go through this for you. Looks like the third item in our queue actually has quotes here, so we can kind of dig a little deeper in there. So as you can see there, we have our bid price and our ask price that's parsed out of our quotes that we received from our live stream. So fairly straightforward, fam, please don't do any evil with this knowledge bam and there you have it you got live streaming futures options quotes coming right into your computer to the second right from that api so fairly straightforward process that quick three steps you really just got to lock in that contract name and then you're ready to get started so bam you have my blessings please use this knowledge for good don't go blowing up your whole account you know nobody likes that anyways fam if you want to support me you can always buy me a coffee got my link in the description there like the video subscribe let me know what you think in the comments fam be safe out there in these crazy markets you have my blessing let's go get these bags